Welcome back to Let's Play The Maw. I'm Burning Dog Face. Oh god. And we're here in brute force. Take that fire, you ass. I remember being stuck in this area for ages. Come on, come on, gotta find those yums. Okay, so around, head over here. Hypothetically, I would probably play a sequel to the Maw. I think there's some interesting things they could do to expand these mechanics. But, uh... I'm not sure it really needs a sequel. <laughs> Well, if nothing else, I did find the snuffle. It won't get me the achievement, but, uh... You know, it's not, not, it's not nothing. Am I a bad person? <laughs> I mean, the way the game ends with, uh, you know, Ma to eating the planet and Frank blasting off into, into space for freedom. I feel like that's a pretty good way to close it. Given the way the, given the nature of the storytelling in this game, they're, uh, not going to, like, come up with some, like, contrived explanation for Frank and the Maw being on another planet and the Maw being small again. So at that point, either you're controlling Frank and a different, newer Maw, or you're just a totally different alien with your own Maw, and... I don't know, not the worst thing in the world, but... circle like that before. And I still missed. In you go.
know, I should have looked it up. After the series, I mean. I should have looked it up. The, uh, whether I was remember correctly that there's an Easter egg in uh, Explosion Man. Or apparently there's a hidden area where you can find uh, Frank and the Maw and get an achievement for it. He does act strangely with that uh, particular thing on. Hey, I'm not doing too badly. Nice. Start up to a nice even 60. Yes, I remember this. I never did figure this out. Not going the right way at all. I just want to wreck that thing. No real reason. That's better. Okay, let me see here. Yes, I remember this. I would uh, run over there and... Check out uh, ways to climb onto those surfaces. Although now I'm thinking about the last level and wondering if I'm just overthinking things. I don't, this won't have given me everything. I would have found all of the, uh, for lack of a better word, collectibles in, uh, the Dirtlands level. Co-edibles? Ugh. That's terrible. It will make me feel better. And hey, I got the achievement for finding all the snuffles, so, you know, that's a thing. Alright, let's see here. I do this. Oh. Uh. God damn it, the suspense is killing it. Okay, it did work. Nice. This makes a bit more sense when the maw is like 20 feet tall, but. Started with yums, it's gonna end with yums. Alright, he can't come up here. Duh. Achievement unlocked, Brute Force. Get 100% eaten and eat the Snuffle in Brute Force. So the ones I didn't get, taking another quick look, are uh, electrify at least 50 objects and or creatures with the Bulbous power. Get 100% eaten in every level, except the DLC levels, and that weird thing about the time of day that I totally forgot to look into. My bad. Hey guys. Future BDF here. Just want to let you know that I did look into the six meals a day achievement. 
and it simply means, like I suspected, you have to play the game at uh, six specific times of day. 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and 12 a.m. Or you could just mess with your system settings and uh, set the clock to whenever you want it. But yeah, that's the spirit of the achievement. I hit back as if I was going to check the map. That's not how this game works, me. Actually, wait, where was that? Was it just down... I think it might have been just down there, around the corner. All right, buddy, let's head out of here. Direct hit. Well then, let's get out of here. Not bad. Not bad at all. And there they go, off to find adventure. Bye, guys. I mean, yeah, we can continue the thing here. I think that'll about do it. Unless you guys really, really want to see me get the, uh... 100% uh, star here in Dirtlands. Hmm... I don't know! Guys, it would be really nice to do that, it's just... Oh, uh, I didn't like that level very much. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. The one with all the hills and the air vents. I mean, it's got the gas bag on the thing, so, you know, that seems to be sort of hinting at that. Either way, uh... Let me know in the comments. Oh, yes. It's just funny, because, uh... Lasering stuff, using flames on stuff, smashing into stuff, and, uh... Well, smashing into stuff... That's stuff you're going to be doing anyway. I mean, the mod just burns shit as he wanders through the level with the gastro power. But, uh, I can think of maybe three times in the campaign when Ma used the bulbous power to electrify stuff that he didn't need to. Ugh, stretch. But unless there's an unexpected return, I guess that'll do it for, uh, Let's Play the Maw. It's been an interesting ride. Oh, let's make it official. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, on behalf of myself, Frank, the Maw, and let's face it, no one else. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for joining me for Let's Play the Maw. I really hope you've enjoyed this series. And uh, I hope you'll join me for my next video series. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to Spartan Demon for gifting me this game. It was short but sweet, and I really enjoyed myself. So thank you once again. Ah, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!